Question 32, um, so we've got variables here, x and y, to find parametrically. So we've got x equals 2t cubed. Um, and then we've got dy dx, that's interesting. So they're not telling us what y is, okay? So it's a slightly different question, isn't it, this, this, this time around? Okay, so we don't know what y is. Y is question mark, all right? Now, um, part A says find the expression for dx dt. Okay, well, that's easy enough, isn't it, dx dt? Just differentiate this, so you're going to get, take the 3 down, so you get 6t squared, one mark in the bag, right? So that's sorted. Um, and remember, when we get dx dt with parametric um, differentiation, it's always good to write the, the reciprocal of it, dt dx. Okay, so flip that. Okay, it's always useful, always handy to, to do that. Um, and let's have a look now at part B. So part B then says find an expression for d2y by dx squared. There you go. So d2y by dx squared. Well, that will be, don't forget then, the derivative of dy dx, as we've seen before. And of course, dy dx is given to us in the question, isn't it? They actually tell us what this is. Okay, this is a strange question. You know, it's usually got to work that out. Okay, so d by dx of this. Now, you know we can't do that with respect to x. We do it with respect to t. Okay, and then we've got a plonker dt dx at the end. That's why I put in the box there. So, differentiate this. You get, it's nice and easy, and that becomes 2. Okay, and that becomes 12t squared. Okay, and then dt dx, as we've seen, is 1 over 6t squared. Okay, so... Um, you get this out. Now, straight away here, I can sort of see um, that... You can, you can take out a 2 here, can't you? 1 plus 6t squared. I'm going to just factorise that top there. And you've got 6t squared there. Okay? Because you're times in by 1 over 6t squared. But I've just taken out a 2 there on the top. Because they will cancel there. So I get a 1 plus 6t squared um, over 3t squared. Okay, so, you know, we could, we could leave it like that. Or we could split it up, right? You know, you could... The, the whole thing is derived by this. You could write it as 1 over 3t squared plus 6t squared over 3t squared, which would give you 1 over 3t squared plus 2. Okay, you could do that. Okay, because they would cancel, obviously, and so on, right? You know, there's no need to, but it might help later on. We'll see now. Um, so if we look then, it says, hence show that there's no value of t for which d2y by dx squared equals to 2. Okay, well... If we put, what you do is then you assume that there is a value, right? You assume the opposite. There is a value of t such that d2y by dx squared equals 2, right? It was 2, wasn't it? Yeah. So you assume there is a value. So in other words, you put this equals to 2, okay? Or, or this, right? You know, whichever version you use. We put that equals to two. Now, if I take that up there, I get six t squared, don't I? Because if I take the three t squared up there, times it by the two, that will give me six t squared. And and then you you got yourself a bizarre situation where six t squared will cancel, so you have one equals zero. Now this is an impossible situation. Okay, so we've assumed that you know we can get a value for t, so this is equal to two. But it turns out that, actually, when you assume this, you end up in an impossible situation, okay? So it doesn't actually work, okay? So, so if it doesn't work, because it leads to an impossible situation, you say no solutions exist, okay? Um, you know, you could have used this version here. Maybe you simplify down and use this version. You get the same sort of idea. You put that equals to 2. Well, then you end up having 1 over 3t squared equals to, to 0, right? And... You know, we, we can't have that, right? We can't have a situation there because t's got to be greater than zero as well in the question, I think it says. Okay. Um, but um, you've got to think, you know, what, where could I have this so this equal to zero? It just doesn't work. Okay. You can't have this here. You can't have a value of t here which gives this to be zero. Um, so we're done. Okay, we're done on this. Part, um, part C then says, given that y equals 10 when t equals 1, find an expression for y in terms of t. Now, in this case here, 
and we've got to integrate, right? Now we know what dy dt is, okay? We know dy dt, um, or do we know what it is? Let's just search back here. We know dy dx, and we don't know what dy dt is, don't we? We don't know what it is. Okay, so that might cause a bit of a problem for us. What, what I'm thinking is here with c, right, is if I can work out what this is, Okay, dy dt, if I can work out what that is, then I can get y by integrating it. Okay, so integ integrating this then will lead me to y. Okay, so working sort of backwards to get y, but I don't know what dy dt is. What I do know though, right, the way around this is we know dy dx, okay, and we know the chain rule is dy dt times dt dx. Okay, so you can kind of sort of work back, back way around this to get dy dt. We know dy dx because it's given in the question. Okay. Um, dy dt is what we want to work out. And of course, dt dx, we already established before, didn't we? Um, was 1 over 6t squared. Okay. We established that before. We worked it out before. So you got this, and then all I've got to do then is think, well, let's take this over the other side because I'm dividing by 6t squared. Take it over and multiply. Okay, so then you get dy dt equals um, 12t cubed plus 24t to the power 5. Right, that's what it is when you multiply that out, add the powers, that's dy dt. Now we can integrate, right? So to get y, we can integrate all this. Okay, straightforward C2 integration with respect to t, okay? So integrate this, well you add a power on, don't you? So that becomes t to the power four, divide by that new power. Add a power on, so it becomes t to the power six, divide by that new power. And then don't forget a constant. When you integrate, you've got to have a constant there. Okay, so then y becomes, this is three t to the power four plus, that's four t to the power six plus c. Now if you go back to the question again, right, it gives you information, doesn't it? Doesn't it not say y is 10 when t is one? Now that's, that's there for a reason, right? So you could say, look, when y is 10, t is 1, so chuck it in, right? And they're nice numbers, because what happens is then this becomes 10, or that's, that just becomes 3, that becomes 4, because this is just 1, isn't it? So c turns out to be 3, okay? That's what three, c turns out to be there when you work that out. So then you get your answer then, y is equal to 3t to the power 4 plus 4t to the power 6 plus then your constant c, which is 3.